So the Surface Headphones 2 bring a lot of value for mid-range ANC headphones. They come included with a hard shell carrying case, they have spectacular build quality for mid-range ANC headphones, and they block out nearly as much noise as a pair of premium ANC headphones, like the Sony 1000 XM3s or the Bose NC700s. But naturally, people want to know how these headphones stack up to these more premium options. And if it's worth spending the extra cash on getting either the Bose or Sony, or if they'll be just fine with the Surface Headphones 2. So, in my opinion, the biggest upgrade on the Surface 2 is their new retail price of $250, whereas the original Surface Headphones used to retail for $350. Now, the Sony 1000 XM3s also have a retail price of $350, but they routinely go on sale for $278 or even a little less because we know the Sony 1000 XM4s are right around the corner. Now, the Bose NC700s have a retail price of $400, but they are starting to sometimes go on sale for $350. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these headphones up, they will be linked down below. And if you want to learn more about any of these headphones, please watch their full reviews because we're only going to be going over their main differences. So, like I mentioned earlier, the Surface 2s still come included with a premium hard shell carrying case even though they now have a $100 price reduction from the originals. But when compared to these other two headphones, this case isn't the smallest. Now, part of this is because the Surface 2s don't collapse like the Sony's, so you might want to take this into consideration if you plan on traveling or commuting a lot with these headphones. But nonetheless, all of these headphones come included with a decent hard shell carrying case that are going to keep your headphones protected. Now, when it comes to the headphones themselves, build quality wise, I would actually argue that the Surface Headphones 2 feel more premium than the Sony's because their plastic body panels have this slate finish to them that feels really nice, but also the biggest reason why I would say the Surface Headphones 2 have better build quality than the Sony's is because their leatherette feels way better. This leatherette feels smooth and supple, whereas Sony's leatherette feels very synthetic, even after a year and a half of heavy usage. But the leatherette on the Surface 2s don't feel as nice as the leatherette found on the Bose. But when it comes to fit and comfort, I do gotta say the Surface Headphones 2 are the least comfortable headphones in this lineup. Now, all of these headphones are big head approved and the Surface 2s have super spacious ear pads like the Bose, so they're gonna be able to accommodate all ear types. But the Surface 2s are the most firm fitting headphones here and they also do like to develop a hot spot underneath their headband after an hour of constant use because their headband has very little padding. So every hour or so I gotta take these headphones off and take a break. Whereas that isn't an issue with these other two headphones because they have a lot more padding underneath their headband by comparison. I can wear either the Bose or Sony's for multiple hours straight without any discomfort. And also keep in mind, both of these headphones have a way less clamping force than the Surface 2's. The only thing to keep in mind here is that the Sony's do have the most cramped ear pads here. Now, they fit me just fine, but if you have larger ears or ears that stick out a lot, then you might be better off with the Bose. So, even though I do think the Surface 2s will fit fine for a lot of people, I do think that both the Bose and Sony's fit better. Now, when it comes to tech specs, all of these headphones charge via a USB-C port. But keep in mind, these USB-C ports are strictly used for charging. You can't use the USB-C port on either of these headphones as a wired connection, like you can on some other headphones out there, like the Sennheiser Momentum 3s. But when it comes to battery life, both the Surface Headphones 2 and Bose NC700s have an advertised battery life of 20 hours, which is okay, but it is a little below average, whereas the Sony's have an advertised battery life of 30 hours. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth connectivity, both the Surface 2s and Bose can be simultaneously connected to any two Bluetooth devices at the same time. 
So you can easily hot swap from one device to another, which can be pretty important for some power users out there. And even if you're not a power user, it is pretty nice. Whereas with the Sony's, they can only be connected to one device at a time. So switching from your computer to your phone and vice versa isn't as seamless. And when it comes to watching movies or videos on your phone, all of these headphones have a zero latency across the board, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android device, which is great. But if you need to, you can always just use a wired connection on either of these headphones because they all have an audio jack. Now I know this sounds basic, but I do gotta point it out because some companies are starting to remove the audio jack on some of their headphones, like with the Beats Solo Pro. But now let's talk about listening to music with these headphones. And let's start off with the Surface 2s because these are the worst performing headphones here. Now, don't get me wrong, with their stock EQ, these headphones sound decent and they should please your average listener. They have strong mids, so vocals are very pronounced and they also have a decent amount of bass. So these headphones are fun to listen to and they definitely get the job done. But these headphones have a really big problem controlling their bass, especially if you listen to a lot of rap, hip hop and R&B, like I do. With their stock EQ, the bass on these headphones sometimes gets super close to bottoming out, and sometimes they do end up sputtering. And if you were to go into their EQ and were to raise the lows and mid lows, then these headphones are going to start sputtering on a regular basis, which I just think is unacceptable for headphones in this price range. Whereas the bass on these other two headphones stay intact no matter what. So, like I said, the Surface 2 sound decent enough, but sometimes that bass does like to sputter. But now, let's talk about the Sonys. I feel these headphones are people pleasers. If you like a neutral sound signature, you can do that, or if you like a bass heavy EQ and you want your headphones to physically rattle your head, the Sonys can also do that. And unlike the bass on the Surface 2s, the bass on the Sonys stay intact no matter what. But if you want better clarity or better instrument separation, then the Bose are the way to go. But I still do feel that the Bose are better for people who prefer a more neutral or mid-focused EQ. Even though the Bose NC700s recently got a new adjustable EQ, it literally only took Bose a year to release this feature after they announced it, even if you raise the bass on these headphones, they still aren't going to physically rattle your head like the Sonys do. It's purely the audible kind, similar to the bass on the Bowers & Wilkins PX7s, but it doesn't hit as hard and it's not as tight. But when it comes to controlling your music, this is something the Surface headphones excels at. The dial on the right ear cup makes sure that when you raise your volume, your input is always 100% accurate, and since these touchpads only register a single tap, double tap, or triple tap, they're also very accurate as well. Whereas these other two headphones largely use gestures which sometimes can be missed. Now don't get me wrong, both of these headphones have very accurate touchpads and they're easy to use. But personally, I do prefer the Surface headphones dial and touchpad setup because it's just even easier to use. Because, yeah, on occasion, the Sonys do miss inputs and I really hate having to adjust the volume on the Bose by constantly flicking this little touchpad. Now let's talk about the active noise cancellation on these headphones. The Surface 2s block out an above average amount of noise for a pair of mid-range ANC headphones. And the Surface 2s can actually keep up with both the Bose and Sony's. But so that you can see for yourself, we're going to jump into an ANC test.
So, like you may have just seen, the Surface 2s block out just about the same amount of noise as the Bose and C700s. But, you can also clearly see that the Sony 1000 XM3s still block out noticeably more noise than the Surface 2s. The Sony's managed to block out more constant low frequency sounds like road noise and they do a better job of blocking out random higher frequency sounds like chatter. But overall, I do think that both the Bose and Sony still have better active noise cancellation than the Surface 2s. Because the ANC on the Surface 2s does have some noticeable cabin pressure. The cabin pressure on the Surface headphones isn't as bad as the cabin pressure on the Bose QC35s, which does give me headaches, but it can be felt especially if you're not playing music through these headphones. Whereas both the Sony's and Bose have less cabin pressure, which does contribute to their overall comfort. And also, all three of these headphones have an ambient mode, but again, the ambient mode on the Surface 2s is lagging a little bit, because they pick up a lot of wind noise when walking outdoors and their ambient mode doesn't sound natural. To me, the ambient mode on the Surface 2s sounds like you're underwater. Whereas the ambient mode on these other two headphones sounds much more natural and they also pick up significantly less wind noise when walking outdoors. But overall, I do feel the ambient mode on the Sony's is better than the Bose because it's the active kind, meaning that they'll actively block out sudden spikes and loud noises, saving you from jump scares. Now, the Surface 2s also have an active ambient mode, but like I mentioned earlier, this ambient mode just doesn't sound natural, and it also picks up way too much wind noise when walking outdoors, which are two very crucial characteristics to take into account when judging a pair of headphones ambient mode. And also, the Surface 2s are missing a conversation mode like on these other two headphones, where you can quickly talk to someone without having to take your headphones off, like this. And personally, I do prefer Bose's conversation mode over Sony's quick attention, because with Bose, once conversation mode is activated, your hands are free. Whereas with the Sony's, you gotta constantly keep their touchpad covered, which is a little awkward. But finally, here's the microphone test. Now, we're gonna be doing things here a little differently because I want to show what kind of a job these headphones do, isolating just your voice from any ambient sound you might have around you. Because right now, I actually have this AC unit, and you can hear quite a good amount of it through these headphones. Now, if we switch over to the Sony's, I do think they do a slightly better job blocking out that AC unit than the Surface headphones too. But the Bose NC700s clearly do the best job of isolating your voice from that AC unit. Now, you still might be able to hear it in the background a little bit, and sometimes it does flare up a little bit if your voice is peaking up and down. But nonetheless, the Bose are working really hard to block out that AC unit. Because if we were to switch over to my lapel microphone, you're going to clearly hear that AC unit. But if we switch over back to the Bose, you can clearly hear that that AC unit is greatly reduced. And in general, the Bose NC700s do have one of the best sounding microphones on any pair of headphones out there for phone calls. So with all that being said, the Surface Headphones 2 definitely bring a lot of value for a pair of $250 ANC headphones. They come included with a premium hard shell carrying case, they block out as much noise as a pair of premium ANC headphones, and they have amazing build quality, especially their leatherette. But when you compare these headphones to the Bose NC700s or Sony 1000 XM3s, yes, I do think it is still worth spending the extra cash if you can. Both of these headphones are more comfortable to wear for long periods of time. They both sound better, but more importantly, their bass doesn't bottom out like the Surface 2s do. Their active noise cancellation have less cabin pressure, and their ambient modes sound more natural and pick up less wind noise when walking outdoors. 
But if you are on a tighter budget, then the Surface Headphones 2 are a great pair of headphones to consider. If active noise cancellation is a high priority for you. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any other products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below. And you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.